Kesha is making a song with Taylor Swift. Ah, Fifth Harmony cancels more tour days. And the Fifty Shades of Darker trailer is here. All that and more on today's rundown. Harmonizers, it's kind of sad. There's a lot of drama in the world of Fifth Harmony today, and we're going to break it down later. But before we get to that, we got to talk about all this Vi drama. Drama. Oh my gosh. All right, Erin, a lot of Vine drama. Fill me in. I don't know much about Vine. All right, well, I mean, I don't think anybody else does anymore either. It's kind of dying. Most of them are YouTubers now, but it's very interesting because Vine star Amanda Kearney actually publicly defriended and broke up with Lele Pons. Lele Pons. Amanda Kearney publicly ended her friendship with Lele Pons after some seriously shady behavior. Lele is the most followed girl on Vine and apparently had it out for her former best friend and fellow social media influencer, mm. Amanda Kearney. So Amanda, she posted a blog post explaining that six months ago she noticed that her most popular Instagram photos as well as some of her YouTube videos were mysteriously being deleted. So she explained saying, quote, Lele Pons was supposed to be my best friend. Then I began to notice my photos being deleted. My videos being deleted and my account being put on private so nobody could follow me. I immediately blamed social media platforms and wouldn't even think it was her. This was happening to me nonstop until August. So they were at a barbecue and things started to click for Amanda because then she recalled saying, we were all playing a fun game of charades. I see Lele get up as I'm telling a joke. I look over my shoulder and see Lele on her phone Snapchatting and then realize, wait, that's my phone. Take my phone back and my photo was deleted. So I knew at that moment it all made sense. Hmm. This is kind of crazy. Lele at first yeah. denied it when she was confronted saying like, no, we're best friends. I would never do that. But then Amanda invited her to her apartment right. and face to face, Amanda was like, I could sense she was lying. So I really got it out of her and she admitted it all. And she even said that Amanda and Lele, they would be together. Amanda would be like, oh, my photos are being deleted. And Lele would be like, that's crazy. At least I'm here to like help you out to get you through this. <gasps> when in fact, she was the one deleting these photos. Whoa. So crazy, crazy. Crazy, crazy but drama. What's so weird about this is like, even my closest friends, I don't, they're not on my phone. So how does she have access to her Instagram and YouTube account to start deleting all of these things? I feel like it's very rare that anybody else has my phone and I have it attached to me at all times. Well, these people, they are atta attached at the hips. You know, like when mm. you were best friends in college or high school and you didn't, because they're essentially, essentially their job is to be together and make videos. So I right. think when they get that close, also, their brand is kind of a little out there and obnoxious. Maybe there's a lot of drinking involved. Maybe mm. just when you're that close to a person, you know how to get access into their phone. But I guess Lele Pons really had it out for this girl. And when her videos would perform well, she would then go in and delete them. So if you have been on Twitter at all, you know that Amanda's going ham. She's posting and reposting all kinds of like funny memes and pictures of people being Team Amanda. While if you go over to Lele's Twitter, she hasn't actually directly acknowledged the incident rather she's just posting cryptic messages dancing around it like being like happiness is key and things like that well the good news is is that this is only gonna help their following speaking of cryptic posts on social media Kesha has the world buzzing today that she could possibly be teaming up with Taylor Swift on a brand new song. Uh, she posted this photo of herself in the studio with some headphones on and the caption has everyone wondering what this could be about. It says, making a f off song with a casual Grammy award winning secret person. I got, I got a good feeling about this one. Notice there are 13 star emojis in the post and you guys know that Taylor's favorite number is 13 and she has a couple of Grammys to her name. Um, and Kesha seems really excited about this. We're really excited about this. We also know that these two have been friends for a while. Uh, Taylor donated a ton of money to Kesha during her Dr. Luke battle. Kesha has attended Taylor's 4th of July party. Tay America. Uh, Tay America, <laughs> yes, as some people call it. Uh, so it wouldn't be shocking, but I do know that Taylor is in the studio right now working on new music because both Martha Hunt and Gigi Hadid confirmed that at New York Fashion Week mm -hmm. this weekend. Of course, Taylor was there supporting Gigi Hadid there but um so she is in the studio she is working on new music and this would make a lot of sense i would actually love this and kesha i don't know if she's actually allowed to record her own music right now and since the two of them are best mm. friends they have a lot of drama to kind of play with right now and yeah. i think it's the perfect time for them to come together and make the hit of a lifetime i mean a hit called f off like yes. i think that's a message <laughs> that both of those girls want to send to hollywood <laughs> right now and everyone can relate i know totally well Gigi hadid also 
you guys, she was at New York Fashion Week. I've been stalking her Snapchat this mm. weekend, by the way. She posted some photos of Zayn. He looks so hot. They look so good together. Oh my gosh. Relationship goals. Oh. But she and Zayn were also out with Taylor over the weekend. Um, paparazzi caught them all leaving Gigi's apartment in New York. Taylor was kind of like wearing this cute little um, like cotton flowy dress, mm -hmm. looking very Taylor Swift. And then she did not get the meat grease 1960s black leather memo that Gigi and Zayn got because they looked like freaking rock stars and Taylor looked like she was going to a picnic. But um, they, she looked really happy though, yeah. I have to say. And um, I love that um, Zayn and Taylor were together supporting Gigi. So I'm just curious if they're by themselves, if they talk about Harry Styles at all. Wouldn't you love to be a fly on that wall? Oh my gosh. I also want to be Zayn to know all of the drama that's going on in Taylor's life. I just can't even imagine the tea that happened. Something tells me that Zayn barely speaks. I agree. <laughs> tells me he doesn't really care. <laughs> you have to really pull it out of him or get like 10 drinks inside of him and then he might go wild. Oh. All right, Aaron, did you watch the Fifty Shades of Grey movie? Oh, yes, I did. Well, you can get excited because it, wait, wait, I didn't like darker. The, I, what? I didn't like the first movie. Well, you, your reaction told me different. That's well, why was I was just moving sexy on. sexy AF. I mean, it was really hot, but the movie as a whole sucked. Are you going <laughs> to give me good news? I, well, okay, well, there's a new movie. I don't know if that's good or bad news to you if you didn't like the first one. I thought it was good for what it was, but I also didn't read the book, so I'm not comparing it yeah, to anything. Did you either. read the books? I don't read. <laughs> well, okay, me either, except for when I have to. Uh, but so there is the trailer for the new movie, Fifty Shades Darker. Mm. And the first movie did leave us on a cliffhanger. We were like, are they or aren't they? But right. that lasted for about 12 minutes because now in this trailer, we hear Anna giving her three requests to Christian saying, quote, no rules, no punishments, no more secrets. Right then we knew a whole lot of crap was about to go down. And we see the sequel taking place at Christian's parents' masquerade party where the two rekindle their questionable romance. However, it isn't just Anna that tries to interfere with whatever you want to call these two. You got me. You got me. All right, but you know this movie is all about the sex, so yeah. of course they're gonna give us a preview of the sex scenes in the trailer. Yes. And newsflash, they're just as good as the first film. Are you just gonna stand there gawking? Yes. You got me looking so crazy. What do you want, Anastasia? This time, no rules. Oh, just the right amount of tease in that clip. Like, I love that you could kind of see, like, her side and you could, the, the aggression and the oohs and ahs, like you can see that, but it was not quite the whole scene. Well, soccer moms are going absolutely nuts right now. I'm going nuts, <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, Christian, he's clearly a changed man after granting Anna's wishes of wanting a relationship with hearts and flowers. We even get a glimpse of the boathouse decked out in flowers, but the burning question, it remains, will they get engaged? Will they get married after all of this drama? Well, what I loved about this trailer, too, is that there appears to be some thriller aspects of the story. Mm -hmm. I don't know anything about this book, you guys, so I may be in the dark here, but it seems like there's someone from his past that's like haunting her. That introduced him to BDSM. Oh, great. Yeah. And then there's someone from her life who's also trying to corner her. Her boss. I mean, apparently word on the street is these two are really hot in bed, so it's not surprised that everybody wants to get a piece of it. No, I, think this, I think this movie's gonna be great. I think it's gonna be filled with sex, <laughs> uh, thrillerismness. I guess it's gonna be a thriller, right? Thriller-ish. Yes. Yeah. Well, find out. Watch it on Valentine's Day of next year, 2017. Oh, we have to wait that long? Yeah. So we teased at the front of the show that there is possible drama in Fifth Harmony Land. And this has been happening recently, and a lot of fans are speculating that this could actually be the end of the era of Fifth Harmony Harmonizers. Bear with me, these are just rumors, but we're gonna report to you what we've heard so far. So the girls of Fifth Harmony have officially canceled more stops on their 727 tour. Um, they're only gonna be playing half of their scheduled shows in France and Germany. The Fifth Harmony update account called Fifth Harmony WWS noted that quote, there is no explanation or reason so far as to why the girls are canceling these shows. And a lot of fans are pissed because 
They've not released any reasoning for this, and this isn't the first time they've done this. They've canceled a number of their ske scheduled 727 tour dates in the past. Just last month, they canceled the final four stops from their US leg without any explanation there either. And fans are now speculating that this is the end. I mean, Lauren, a couple of days ago, had a breakdown on stage. She took to Twitter to say, you guys, I was just so emotional at the lyrics to the words, everything is fine. Then of course, a week or so ago, Camila Cabello basically walked off stage and did not return to the show due to anxiety issues. Um, there's been some rumored drama that's been happening since Camila wanted to do a solo album and has been doing some solo projects and the girls are supposedly a little bit jealous of that. And there was another source that saw these girls at a party at Republic Records and Lauren and Dinah, Normani and Ali, they arrived to the party together with out Camila and then Camila came later and then all the girls left is there drama do you think these girls are breaking up well here's my thing so I was actually going to go to their Vegas tour they were doing like these big meet and yeah. greets and then it got canceled and the publicist actually told us that it was because the show actually hadn't sold enough tickets so I don't think it's I don't think that's something they want to publicize and be like oh we're not selling enough to actually have the show. And I think when you are a group, you just kind of cancel without reason. How else, what would you tell the world, you know? I mean, I think that that's, I think it's pretty well known if you don't sell enough tickets. Like, I don't think that's like a secret. Right, so you that's know? probably why they're not saying anything though, because it is kind of embarrassing to be like, oh, we're not selling enough. Yeah, but I think that they don't want the it. message to be that they're gonna break up either, right? Like, but I think, so here's the thing, with all of the drama, like Camila supposedly leaving right. and everyone not getting along the best in the entire world, with this being the icing on the cake, I think where do they go from here? Because they have put out so many hits on this album alone. There were so many like number one singles that were amazing and people are listening to them and buying them, but then in turn, they're not going to see them live at their concert. So mm. I just don't see where they go from here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, I don't know for sure. I don't know these girls personally, but I know when you put a bunch of girls together in a music group, I was in a girl group for about five years Wait, of my life. What? Yeah, and I was on tour for five years, well, off and on. But I know that there is drama that happens. You can't, you can't escape it. These girls are together 24 hours a day. I'm sure they don't get along. And if I were the other girls in the group, I wouldn't be happy with Camila either. Like you're supposed to be a part of a team and you're doing side projects. Like I would be upset, so I would gather that this is happening, but I don't think this is the end. I think as long as they're making money, mm -hmm. as long as people are buying these albums, I don't I don't think that they're gonna quit the group. I don't think they'll quit the group either. And it's hard to say that Camila will actually go solo. I campaigned for that for a long time that I thought that that's what she was going to do. But now her coming out with all of her anxiety, mm -hmm. I don't know if it's feasible for her to go solo right now because we know with Zayn that that's been a really big ticker in him canceling shows. So if she were then to leave Fifth Harmony, it would be hard for her to do a solo career. Maybe. So honestly, I do see them being together for a while or Me at least too. trying to do it for some time. Yeah, even if they don't get along, mm -hmm. I think they're still gonna try to stay together, at least for the harmonizers, harmonizers sake. All right guys, do you think that Taylor Swift and Kesha are actually teaming up? Oh, and not only that, what do you think about all of this Vine drama? Mm. What do you think about Amanda Kearney actually breaking ties with Lele Pons? Lele Pons, also let us know if you like us talking about YouTubers and Viners. I know we don't talk about them a ton, but I kind of like taking a little peek into that world. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of drama there. So if you like us talking about those, thumbs up this video so we know and we'll bring you more of that. But for now, we're, we're gonna go live we're our lives. We're gonna go live our best <laughs> life, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. 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 Giddy Perry tweets about Taylor Swift in that box on the left. Oh, uh, or click over to the right to see Kendall and Kylie get stuck in an elevator oh. and things got awkward. Weird.